Alright, hey, what's up you guys? Uh, this is Gravekeeper Death. I'm doing a review for Gear755. He's got a YouTube channel. And um, if any of you guys are into, you know, um, some cool videos about reviewing gear, I think you need to go out and um, subscribe to this guy. He's a pretty cool dude. Um, I'll put the link in the description below. But anyways, <clears throat> what he was asking about was my Gerber 600 series, um, which is right here. Now, I decided to turn this into a dual review of two different multi-tools because these are the two that I was issued <clears throat> by the U.S. Air Force. Um, I'm just going to go over a couple of the differences between the two, what I like about them, um, you know, just kind of some standard stuff about it. Um, this here is just a Heineken. <sighs> yep. <clears throat> then this is my, oh, what are you doing here, Sog Flash 2? Oh, well, I still love this knife, so. I'll just put her away for now, but she is my baby. <clears throat> Alright, so anyways, let's get started on the review. So, um, I think one of the one of the first things that, that you think about when, <clears throat> when you're looking at these knives is, okay, what kind of tools do they have on them? The Gerber has just your needle nose pliers. And let's see, we've got a saw, a lanyard, a standard Phillips head screwdriver, and kind of like a multi can opener. On the other side, you have kind of a, you know, a dual sided, um, yeah, wow, I'm stupid. Yeah, it's a it's a dual sided. Um, okay, this whole video is gonna be scratched. You know. Yeah, it's a file. Anyways, okay. Now this is your blade. It's pretty stupid. Um, it's not even a knife. It's just a blade. I think they were going for a under three inches thing with this, but whatever. Um, okay, now we've got another can opener, and then your just regular flathead screwdriver, I think. Then here's another regular flathead with, I don't know, something on there. I don't know what, what that originally is designed for. Maybe it's another can opener. Maybe Gerber thought that you'd be stuck out in the woods with you know the need for one two three different types of can openers but whatever who cares anyways they all <clears throat> lock in like this and the locking mechanisms here so let's say I take out the knife this uh, knife is locked into place unless I go like this and then I can close it. Now, to put the needle nose in, you push on these two buttons on the side, and it locks in like that, which is kind of nice because deployment, if you just want to use the needle nose pliers, you can go like this. Just whip it out like that, and that's why sometimes people will call it like the Gerber flick or, or whatever. Just go like that pretty easy so that's kind of a plus um, over here what kind of tools we got <clears throat> needle nose as you can see this is a little beat up because I do use these tools um, flathead I kind of like this because this is a mini 
a mini flathead and a mini focus focus camera okay well I don't think it's gonna focus but anyways this is a mini flathead right here and um, yeah it's not bad and you got your Swiss Army knife style scissors a little rusty there And over here you got your can opener and your standard screwdriver. Phillips flathead. Okay. So, nothing real special. But, one of the cool things about the Leatherman, this is a Leatherman Wave, is when it's closed, you can deploy a saw with one hand or you can deploy a full-size knife with one hand so I really I really kinda like that option I think that's really nice and then over here on the other side you have a another wood cutting saw it's a little bit more fancy than the other one And then we got your file here. So this one's got a little bit more tools than the Gerber, actually. But um, I don't know. I like them both. I think Leatherman's been around for a little bit longer. I, I could be wrong on that, but I think they've been making multi-tools for a little bit longer. And um, maybe, I don't know, they've got their shit together a little bit better but I could be wrong on that um, I'd have to say the sheaths I like the Gerber one better it's got some padding on the inside and it's just really comfortable to wear but it only gives you the option of wearing it with your belt going through this way the the Leatherman has the option of having it going in like this or through here so that ain't too bad so I think the Leatherman wins on having compactness but the Gerber is better for comfort and I also think that the Gerber is good if you're working on something where you need to use a needle nose or let's say you're an electrician or you're into the communications like I am and you need to strip wires and whatnot. This is really nice because you can change out these little um, wire stripping pieces to whatever you need if they get dull, if you need different sizes. So I, I've always kind of liked that. And um, let's see, I guess on the Leatherman, I like this one better because if I need a knife, it's just ready to go like that. I can just open it with one hand. It's really easy to open. So, I actually like carrying both of these knives, or both of these multi-tools. I pretty much got them both for free from the military, so, you know, I'm not going to complain about it. Like I've said before, you can't really complain about getting something for free. But, um, anyways, that's just kind of some things that I uh, that I um, wanted to say about it and I hope you guys like the review take care